Lead the way. Yeah. So this is this is the book. Bob Liggett is a retired ophthalmologist in Circleville. Parker, the perfect pumpkin. Yes. Around here, he's yes. known as Dr. Pumpkin. Just wanted to pick um, a gender neutral name, and Parker was the one we landed on. Did you know Dr. Pumpkin has a grandson named Parker? What a coincidence. Good fortune. Good fortune seems to follow Dr. Pumpkin. After all, he still holds the show record at 1,964 pounds. No holes. For a gourd he grew on his farm. The authors and artists visited that farm a year ago, documenting everything from the process to the people, including the doctor's granddaughter. My granddaughter, Bella, wants to be just like me. Yeah, it took a year to grow this perfect book. A piece of everyone's yeah. ideas so that we could all come together and make this book not just like from one person, but as a group thing. This was the good doctor's first look at himself in print. And who was in charge of Dr. Liggett? That, that's you. Yeah. All right. Wh which one was? She all did. Right. She did. You, did she do you justice? Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> uh, like when we went to the pumpkin farm, all of the big pumpkins are like very misshapen, and like they usually do have warts, and they usually do yeah. have like lopsided. No one can love a pumpkin with all those warts. I'm a freak, and I don't belong here or anywhere. Parker said. Letting kids understand like it's okay to be who you are. It doesn't matter what you look like. It's what's inside that matters. And like he couldn't believe it. He had won. His warts, shape, and color didn't stop him from taking the top spot. Parker spelt, felt special and loved. With warts, with paint, he was perfect. He was perfect all along. <laughs> sort of flabbergasted. <laughs> Parker the perfect pumpkin. Just what the what doctor that? needed. How does well, that, that make you feel? Well, kind of special. Just as the authors intended. That's pretty cool. Right? <laughs>